Good morning, YouTubers. I'm the Taylorette, and I'm going to be showing you how I do my cartridge plating for my Civil War dresses. Now, I got the bodice all finished, but I need to put the skirt on, so I'm going to be doing this right here. This is called cartridge pleating. It looks like gathers, but it's actually a type of pleating. This morning, I was able to get the skirt all prepped. I cut out the panels, sewed those together, and then I was able to hem it and I measured the length to make sure the length was right and now it's ready to be cartridge pleated. So the first step is I take the skirt, this is the top of the skirt, and I have my front opening right here, you can't see it, but this is where it'll go in the front on this side. And I basically just brought it like this and I'm marking the other side which is the back part of the skirt, which actually there's a seam there, but I'm gonna put a pin there anyway. And then after I do that, I'm going to fold it one more time like this. And now there's two layers in here. I'm going to mark both of those and that's going to mark the other two sides. So put two pins in here for each side. And then I open it up and I just basically sectioned off the skirt so that I can do it in sections. I don't like to go all the way around the skirt because then I have to pull and then there's a lot longer threads that I have to use. So I like to section it off into four parts. You want the thread that is the same color as your skirt. So because we are not taking this thread out, it's going to be in there. And this is the end of the thread that I'm holding here. And here's the pin where I marked and sectioned off the skirt. I'm going to hold this past the pin and bring the roll past this pin over here and grab and then I'm basically going to have two threads and I'm going to pull this off the roll here and cut and there I have my two threads that are the length that I needed for this one section. I'm going to knot this side of the thread and make sure there's a tail at the end of the knot. You don't want it to be right at the end of the thread. So I'm doing two knots so that it doesn't come out at all. And then I'm going to thread my needle. I'm using a longer needle. I'm not using my little detail smaller needle that I use for my hand stitching. I'm going to use a longer one and you'll see why in a minute. And then I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to put it in between because there's the other side of the skirt here. I'm going to put this in between the layers because I don't want to stitch both sides together. And the first part is I'm going to go down right at the edge, maybe like less than a quarter of an inch from the edge here. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna cut up, come up about three eighths of an inch here. And I'm about less than a quarter inch from the top here. And I'm just gonna go down and then come back up and go down and come back up pull the thread through and the knot is holding there and I'm basically going to repeat that going all the way down so I finished going all the way to the pin I did this stitch close to the edge in sections all the way around the skirt and now I'm ready to do the second row so I'm basically going to repeat well I am going to repeat the same thing right here, although I'm going to mimic the stitches. I'm gonna do my stitches right alongside the other ones. Make sure up and down is where I went up and down before. So I went down here, I'm gonna go right next to it, and I'm gonna go down, and here's the up right here. Come up where I went up, go down where I went down, up, I don't know if you can see that, but if you see, my stitches are perfectly parallel to the other stitches. And I'm going to do that all the way down the skirt and all the way around in sections that I sectioned off. So I have all my sections stitched and the large, I have two rows, all a quarter of an inch to three eighths of an inch apart. So I did them in sections just how I sectioned them off before. This next part is time to connect it to the bodice. So, but first I'll show you how I pull all the cartridge pleats together. This is actually really cool how it comes together. It's a little bit like gathers. It's not exactly the same. It's more uniform than gathers. And gathers you stitch through a machine. This you actually have to hand stitch the bodice. So now this part, I'm going to pull this in 
but I'm going to tie both of these rows together at the end so it doesn't come apart. Now I'm on the other side of the row, the section. I tied the other side up and now I'm going to just pull it. It's all nice and uniform. And the reason why I did two threads at one time in one row is because I don't want the thread to snap. So, because as you pull it can break and that's not fun because then you have to go do the row all over again. And then you do that with all the sections of the skirt. ready to have the skirt stitched to the bodice so I'm going to take this over here. Now I'm going to section off the bodice itself into four parts so I can put the skirt in there in four parts. So I'm going to find the center front, put it here, this is the center front. Find the center back, put a pin in there and then I'll open up that from there, fold this in half, Put a pin over here, in there, and then do the same to this side. Now my pins are divided into set four parts. And this is the first fourth that I'm going to work on. And I'll grab my skirt, and I'm literally going to measure this skirt part to fit in between these two pins, so I might need to let it out a little bit and match the pins. So here's the end of the skirt and here's the other pin is right here. Match that. And then I'm going to tie the other end so it doesn't come undone. And then put it back down and spread out the pleats like so. Simply pin the first little pleat and literally pin them every inch or so and you're just going to lay this if you can see the other side I'm laying it about just under a quarter inch above the edge of the waistband that's where I'm pinning it to I'm not sure if you could see that but if you can see I pinned in between the little pleats there that's the first section I'm going to do that to all the other sections so that it's evenly pinned to the skirt So for the hand stitching, I'm doing a double thread. I'm not using just one thread. I threaded two threads into one, my smaller needle, which is more for detailed work. So I'm stitching this. I'm gonna do a double stitch like you do for all your starting your hand stitches. And I just did my double stitch and now I'm going to find, you can't really see it because I have the placket stuck in there, but um, I'm going through my first pleat here. And I'm literally going to stitch each pleat at a time, one pleat at a time. And I'm going right in there. Take this out. Don't need that anymore. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going down and I'm coming up through the pleat, the point of the pleat or the fold. We don't want to smash the pleats. You don't stitch these like a regular gathering stitch on a sewing machine. You have to do these by hand to preserve the uniformity look of the pleats. And do this all the way around the skirt. The hand stitching is done, and so that means this dress is D-O-N-E. I'm going to grab this. This is my smaller hoop. It's the 125 circumference hoop, which is a four bone hoop. And this is what it looks like when it's on the dress form. So yeah, it's all done. That is how I do my cartridge pleats. I do hope you've enjoyed watching this and that you've learned a thing or two. Please comment below if you have any questions or need some clarification and hit subscribe because next week I will be talking about my story and how I got involved in sewing as well as giving a tour later on in the week of my studio. So stay tuned. <coughs> <coughs> Dress.